In this video, I will briefly discuss what is fixed cost and what is variable cost. We can classify total cost into various categories. One of these categories is to classify the total costs into its two components that is fixed cost and variable cost. Now, first we will discuss what is fixed cost. Fixed cost is any cost that remains constant or unchanged with the level of activity or it is the cost with a, uh, which remains constant regardless whatever is the level of quantity or the units produced in a company. Let us assume that we have a fixed cost amount of rupees 100 by being constrained I mean that if you produce zero units you will have to pay this cost. If you increase your production to one unit you will still have to pay the same amount of fixed cost and if you keep on increasing the number of units the fixed cost amount will remain constant or same. Now to note down an example we can say that a rent of certain premises or rent of a factory for a company is an example of a fixed cost. A company has to pay a fixed amount of rent uh, for, uh, for carrying out its operations in the factory and that does not depend upon the number of units being produced in the factory. We have to pay a certain amount and that amount is a fixed amount for a specific period of time. Let's say our example is for a single year. So we will have to pay 100 rupees of rent irrespective of whether I produce zero units, whether I produce one unit or two units and so on. This amount has to be paid at any cost. Now, let us plot its graph. We will represent uh, units on x-axis and the total cost amount on y-axis. This is the origin point or the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 point. Now if we produce 0 units we have to pay a certain amount of fixed cost. If we start producing 1 unit we will still have to pay the same amount of fixed cost. If we consume 2 units or produce 2 units we will still have to pay the same amount or 100 rupees of fixed cost and this amount will carry on forever. Therefore, a total fixed cost graph, a total fixed cost graph is parallel, parallel to x axis. Now let us discuss what is variable cost. Variable cost is any cost which keeps on changing with the level of activity or varies with the level of activity. It varies with level of activity. For example, if I am producing certain units which consume uh, let's say 10 rupees of uh, raw material per unit and if I produce no units or I produce uh, zero units, obviously I will not have to bear any expense and therefore my total variable cost will be zero. And by this I mean that the graph for total variable cost will always start from origin or the 0, 0 point. If I produce one unit in, and then if the total sorry per unit variable cost is rupees 10 I will have to bear an expense of rupees 10. For two units likewise I will have to pay 20 rupees. And therefore the total variable cost graph will be an upper, uh, upper sloping graph if I plot total variable cost on y axis and number of units on x axis the total variable cost graph will always be moving upwards. It will start from origin if I produce one unit I have to pay 10 rupees of fixed cost or total variable cost if I produce two units I will have to bear 20 rupees of total variable cost 
and so on like for three units i will have to pay 30 rupees of total variable cost and therefore this graph will be upward moving now if i add both graphs that is i make graph of uh, total cost i know total cost is equals to fixed cost plus variable cost and i also know that to calculate variable cost or total variable cost i multiply variable cost per unit or one unit's variable cost with number of units carrying on with the above amounts or above example figures if i produce let's say zero units i will have to pay a certain amount of fixed cost from our above example it should be 100 rupees i will also ha may have to pay certain variable cost but for zero units my variable cost will be zero adding up both together for total cost my total cost will be equivalent to my fixed cost that is 100 rupees if i produce one unit i will still have to pay the same amount of fixed cost but my variable cost since it is 10 rupees per unit I will have to pay a certain amount for this extra unit I have produced which will be rupees 10 and my total cost will be 110 for two units I will have to pay 100 rupees of fixed cost and 20 rupees of variable cost 10 rupees per unit for two units I will have to pay 20 rupees and the total amount will be 120 now if I draw total cost graph it will look like something this units on x-axis total cost on y-axis for zero units I have to pay 100 rupees for zero units I have to pay 100 rupees the graph will start from this point for one unit my total cost is 110 for one unit my total cost is 110 for two units my total cost is 120 for two units my total cost is 120 and it will keep moving upwards as I increase the number of units produced so here we go in this video we discussed very basics of total cost fixed cost and variable cost fixed cost does not vary does not change with the level effectivity we have to pay a fixed amount example is rent of factory variable cost keeps on changing with the level effectivity example is raw material expense for producing certain units in a factory if i produce more units i will consume more raw material and total cost is simply addition of fixed and variable cost further to calculate variable cost we can uh, multiply variable cost per unit a single unit's variable cost multiplied by number of units produced thank you to watch this video